back to my youtube channel if you do not know who i am my name is garabo aka most more from gomora to the world um today is a thursday so i remember i once posted that um i need to enhance my cooking skills and for christmas present i got a cooking class which is happening today um Firstly, I'm going to quickly take my vitamins uh, and then I'm going to head out. I don't like downing pills. I'm, I do not care. I think these I'll take when I leave. So, um, I normally do not like opening the app to look for bible verses so normally how i go about the bible is like when i wake up like i pray and ask god um may i have a scripture that would resonate with today or something that i need to learn today from um the bible right but today on the app um it was the Bible verse of the day was, wait, I'll tell you now. I need to constantly check my messages because we we'll are leaving, I think, in 15 minutes. Um, so the Bible verse of today was Philippians 4, verse 6, I think. And I'm going to say it as I have memorized it. Pray about everything and don't worry about nothing. Basically. So um this message is probably not for me because i feel like i've come to a point where i've stopped worrying about whatever it is that happens in my life my future plans you know like i've put everything in god's hands because personally i feel like my hands are too little to handle like you know the amount of greatness that my life um looks like or my future looks like so I felt it in me to say this, that wherever that you are, wherever that you're sitting, whatever worries that you have, put them all to God. Like, stop worrying about, you know, it's it's very easy, you know, being on social media, you know, like your um, Christian influences, how um, easily they portray faith. But faith is going to be shaken at times, you know. Um, but something that I've learned to do unto myself is to put everything in god's hands and i'm hoping that with this bible verse wherever you are wherever you're sitting whatever your circumstance um may this message get to you stop worrying about whatever it is that you're worrying about right now put everything in god's hands and you will feel the peace you know of not worrying about your life because you know that god has everything under control you know i feel like um, i'm gonna start doing this very often where i incorporate a bible verse before i start rumbling um yeah you know like probably this is my purpose with my youtube channel but i want to say stop worrying stop worrying Put everything in god's arms um i am ready i should have done a um get ready with me but like i was in my fields today and i thought i don't want to do this um so i'm going to this cooking class i'm gonna be um dropped off and then um hopefully i have fun i enjoy cooking i love cooking i'm passionate about cooking so i'm gonna head downstairs and i will see you on the other side the link so i'm wearing this um beautiful delela kind of what's a delela in school oh my gosh so i've worn this a couple of times but i have not gotten the opportunity to take pictures with it so i'm gonna try do that today and also i need to get my umbrella because it's raining um so yeah guys uh I'm probably going to come back later and go to the gym. I'm hoping to vlog. Hopefully, they allow vlogging. I'm hoping to vlog the entire experience of me cooking small lanyana clips and stuff like that. And I'm hoping to go to the gym after. So, I'm going to head downstairs so we can leave. I don't want to be late. I was offered lift, so I can't say no. Uh, so, I'm going to take the rest of my 
gummies so i've recently tried out this brand only me if i'm calling it right um the fiber gummies aren't really doing the things because okay but they are let me not lie let me not lie they are because i go to the bathroom much easier than i would have and very often on a day in a day i'm sorry so yeah and since i don't like downing pills i feel like this is the perfect um brand for me because it's gummies i can like literally just chew them up and be good to go so i'm gonna see you when i get there and hope you enjoy the vlog don't forget to like share comment you know what a deal is <sighs> early at the mall and saw the opportunity to undo my head scarf and tie it back again and seems like i did it a bit worse but anyway when i got inside the store i asked if i could film and the lady that was opening the store emphasized that you cannot film but as soon as we got in the chef did say that if you want to take pictures and small clips you can do that though she did mention very importantly that you need to wash your hands every time you touch your phone i was acting all goofy here because i'm very goofy and showing you my outfit Take my, the stomach hand, my left hand, 
I'm gonna put it right on top of my shallot, and I'm only putting this bigger portion of my palm right on top with my fingers curved to the ceiling. A lot of pressure on top. Not, don't put all your weight on it, but a decent amount of pressure to hold it on the cutting board so that way I know it's not gonna go anywhere. From then I have my knife right here. It's gonna be nice and flat parallel to the cutting board and I'm just gonna rise it about a quarter of an inch high. From then I'm gonna take my knife and I'm just gonna work it into my shallot. I'm stopping when I get closer to the root. I'm only cutting three quarters of the way through. Only three quarters of the way. I don't wanna destroy my internal root system. From then, because then I can't, I don't have any control over my layers anymore. They're, they're flying out. She asked why I don't cut all the way through my root system. And the reason why is because your layers will fly everywhere. Okay. Your root is what holds everything together for these types of roots. From then I'm going to take my knife. I'm going to go do the same exact thing, just a quarter of an inch higher. Cutting right through. But only enough so I can actually take it and actually pick it up and kind of think about that. You'll see you have a few layers. Your shallots are smaller. If you're more, if you're comfortable to do a third cut through, you can. However, as you can see, I did two cuts, and that's perfect enough for me to then start putting in my next grid. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, uh, my little Pac-Man mats of my shallot. I'm going to face those openings towards myself, and I'm going to follow the natural lining on the outside of the shallot. I'm going to pinch those two sides. And um, remember, pinch grip, thumb on one side, pointer finger on the other. That way we look nice and choked up on our knives. We have our claw nice and bare. Remember, everybody watch the bear or no? Yeah? yeah? Some of us do. So. <laughs> Just think of that. Think of that when you're doing the grip. From then, flat knuckles against the flat of the knife and quarter of an inch thick. Chop them right downward. We're basically going for a as small as we can will be about roughly like a mix. If you have some long pieces, just like I do over here, you take your knife, chop, 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 chop. From then, I'm all done. I'll take my bench scraper, scrape up all those pieces, and then I can throw it into whatever I'm using. If you get too close to your hands to where it's not comfortable, go ahead, take that piece, chuck it out. Better to cut the toxic people out of your lives, cut your fingertips off, right? <laughs> <laughs> All righty, so let's go. Together. First, I'm just trying to soften this up a little bit. 
And I also have over here, I have salt and I have a little bit of sugar. Got a little bit of my sugar in here. I'm actually gonna add the rest of it in with my mixture over here. But it's just so that way when I marry everything together, it makes it a little bit easier. I'm also gonna take this. I don't want it to cook my eggs that I have over here. So I always take it off the heat and try and hold it a little bit. Once it's semi, not, not like burning hot, but still warm enough to marry, but cool enough that you can touch it, you just take your use to marry these guys together. Yeah. Marry all of this together. Of course, you never want anything hot to sit right on top of your yolk. You don't ever want the granules just in the whisk together. That's why I say it's a flavor it looks very pasty. Just like that. Everyone sees that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what we're looking at. Alrighty. So next up, what we're gonna do over here, I'm gonna take my egg whites, and I gotta get them nice and fluffy. I want a medium stiff peak, but this is a French meringue. French meringue is the most least staple meringue in the pastry world. The most, uh, it goes from Italian, Swiss, and then French, from most stable to least stable. So that's why what we want to do is build up our stability via air. So what I have in here, as you guys can see in the stages, it's going through from that liquid stage. Now we are at what is a frothy stage. So you, you can even see it from the mirror large bubbles forming on the top of our mixer. You'll see some liquid at the bottom as well. This is that frothing stage that I'm talking about. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna take my sugar that I have right here and I'm just going to strain this in while mixing. And what this is doing, it's allowing the bond to come between our whites and our sugar, dispersing that granule allowing it to become homogenous a bit with that egg, and then we're also adding air, the agitation, which helps with our volume and stability. I'm sorry, that's sugar you're adding? Yes. So what happens to the granules? They're they gonna don't become, dissolve. They dissolve throughout and then they become- They do? Yes. In the egg? Yeah, it's gonna be a meringue. What I'm gonna do is I just added all my sugar in. I make sure I get it all nice and in, and I kind of leave it on for a, like about a minute, about a second or so, and then I'm gonna turn up my speed. At this point, I am not going to slow my speed down. I'm not stopping it until I see a specific look in the bowl. I'm looking for, number one, a change in color, number two, a change in volume. And number three, I can change a change of viscosity as well. It should no longer be gooey and uh, gunky kind of or or slimy, slimy looking. Thank you. It should look slimy. <laughs> uh, it shouldn't look. Uh, it shouldn't look a manila color. It should be white. Once it is white, I'm looking for the volume. I'm looking to see between the beater and the bowl. Is the mixture swooping downwards or is it rippling like waves hitting the shore? If it's rippling like waves hitting the shore, then I can either slow down machine or turn it off because I've built up enough stability in the bowl with the amount of air I've added in to allow it to hold itself. If I stop it midway, I'm gonna cause a, my structure in my bowl to be not as stable as I need it to be. And it will not be light fluffy like I'm looking at. So that's why things in the rain like this are very, very important. All right, so we're just getting those guys nice and whipped up. Top. I 
edge. In fact, sometimes I even push it towards this edge here so that way it's touching the side. There's no air drop. I'm going to go ahead and swipe really quick. Mm. From then, I'm going to take the sugar that I use to dust inside my ramekin, and I'm just going to do little pastry wishes that is going to grow nice and tall. <laughs> 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 right? It's a little bit. So, a little bit of a wishing, it helps to kind of give it a nice flat surface on the top to your souffle. So, just like that, I can take this guy, put him right in my oven. Let me tell you this, the risotto was bussin' bussin'. It was all kinds of deliciousness and greatness in one plate. With my head wrap looking weird, we are going back home. The cooking class is done. Um, thank you very much for tuning in. This video is not going to be long and lengthy and stuff like that. So... Uh, I am going back home. The class is all done. I had so much fun. I think I'm going to book myself a pasta class next or a pastry class, maybe. I don't know. It'll all depend. But I really had a great time. <laughs> My head wrap is just weird today. But oko koko. Oko koko koko. Look on so look on these these temp. Oh, been dinner temper, because you're gonna be Caesar. It be Caesar, it be Caesar, it be Caesar, it be Caesar, it be Caesar. Yeah, such a sharp kev. Thank you very much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you on the next one. Bye.